it's youth month and we are discussing young people who are making bold moves in the property industry they are taking and getting investing and gunning for the top spots in south africa's biggest property powerhouses while we're at it tonight join myself and nigel adrianza at the end of the podcast as he unpacks the sought after home buying masterclass just this is this is going to make your home buying experience as relaxing as a walk in the park this is the private property podcast my name is Dewey. thank you so much for joining us our guest tonight holds a bachelor's in business science economics he is passionate about real estate and he is at one of the leading um, real estate property houses in south africa remax he is young and is proof that all the amazing things that are being said about being in the property game are true. Viewers at home, help me welcome Mike Petropoulos. Good evening, Mike, and thank you so much for joining us. Hi, Timmy. Thank you very much for having me on your podcast. It's truly an honor, and that was, a, that was an incredible introduction, I must say. I that is all you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty blessed, man. Thank you. <laughs> and, you know, we're talking young people who are in the property space and who are in the property game, and you are a real estate agent, and um, it takes real, real guts to be in this, um, in this profession, especially because, you know, not a lot of young people are here. Tell us what you enjoy about working as a real estate agent. So I think the best way to answer that question is to basically give you some context as to why I joined in the first place. So basically my dream in life is to be involved in a team that contributes to Skyline. Do you know what I mean? I want to be involved in teams that build high level skyscrapers and sell them out. And, and that's a really big dream to have. So I'm sitting here thinking, how do I get there? You know what I mean? I, what is property in the first place? So my decision was, do I go back and study a property degree? You know, I, I don't have the money for that. <laughs> uh, what's the way to, to answer a question like that? And I figured the best way to learn is to jump in the industry and figure it out. And being an estate agent, I mean, I don't have a salary. I'm straight commission. So if I don't figure it out, I don't eat. <laughs> yeah. So at the end of the day, I feel like that's the best thing for me is being in an industry where you're constantly learning, you're interacting with so many different clients, developers, high-end investors, all of that, and being on the job, learning, it's the best experience, and it keeps you hungry and motivated. And obviously, it's very scary not having that backdrop, but I mean, there's no ceiling either. And if you, if you have the right, the right uh, temperament, I think it's an incredible industry. Sure. You did business science economics and yes. um, you were just talking about how you were thinking and probably saying, maybe I should go back and do a property degree. What kind of um, qualification would you, would you um, advise one who wants to become a real estate agent to do? So the beauty of the industry is that it, there's, there's low barriers to entry. And I, I suppose yeah. that can be a bad thing as well. But I've seen some people that haven't been able to afford uh, to go to university. They haven't been privileged enough to get funding or anything like that. And they've come into an industry brand new with just a lot of passion um, and a, an incredible work ethic. And they have made successes of themselves because of the low barriers to entry. But that being said, you do need a, a, a qualification to become a, a full status estate agent. So I want to take you through the process of that a little bit step one is join a real estate firm such as remax which i joined uh, and become an intern uh, in that firm then you're going to be signed up for an internship it's about a, a 12 month uh, period during this you need to get an nqf4 so i uh, having an, an honors degree is it's an nqf8 so it's, it's significantly lower but you'll be doing this in your uh, your logbook for 12 months uh, during this logbook that you're going to be completing, it's basically uh, like a work-based experience and evidence learning, and you're going to be completing this logbook. Once you've done that and you've got your NQF, you then write a board exam, uh, which is a PDE-4, and that allows you to be a uh, fully qualified estate agent. Sure. And, you know, there were, um, our guest yesterday was also talking about that internship and how important it was and yes. for him. And you also talking about how um, you are only earning on commission. So I want, I want you to take us through your, your experiences and uh, part particularly rather your most memorable experience since you joined Remax. What, which, which memory stands out for you and you're like, this experience was absolutely phenomenal and I made the right decision? That's a, that's a, that's a good question, but a <laughs> tough one because... I mean, there was, there was something that happened to me last week and I was like, my life is a movie, you know, <laughs> just with the type of high-end clients I'm serving that it's, it's a dream. But I actually think the, the best story to tell would probably be the first time I got a, a high-end listing. So this was a, a million dollars, so 16 million rand at the time. And it's, it's a good story because it goes to show um, the way you carry yourself is extremely important. So I think this was my, 
this was my second listing I ever got. And you don't just walk into a brand new industry and you're like, you know what, that 16 million rand house, I'm going to sell it and he's going let to me, let me sell it. He or she's going to let me sell it. You know what I mean? It's like, you're scared. You're going to go for you know, a little bit of lower property. So I went there. I think the property was about a million rand. Um, uh, I, I cold called the person, uh, got, got you know, a foot in the door, managed to get a meeting to do the listing presentation. Um, but the thing is, whether your property is worth 50 million, whether it's worth 1 million, you're giving me a shot. You're giving me an opportunity here. I need to go out and, and give my all. You know what I mean? So I arrived there in a full suit. I know everything about that property. I know what it sold for in the past. I know who the last three owners were. I know what all the properties around it sold for. I know what the market trends are. I know everything. So I walk into there, this, this appointment for 1 million rand. Um, and I walk in there and I, you know, I, I, I do my best. I do my listing presentation and... Turns out, the guy looked at me and he's like, you know what, I like this. I like the way you came prepared. I like the way you carry yourself. We have something a little bit special for you. And that really just opened up my mind as to how lucrative and, and, and wide the property game is from an investment perspective. You have people with such expensive properties that also have small properties in their portfolio. Sure. And it really goes to show that it's a relationship-based industry. And it's, it's, it's truly something that I, I'm in awe of. I, I, I love that. Yeah, and better be prepared, right? Because you never know what's going to happen. No, in exactly, exactly. So what would you have done differently if you had known what you know now before beginning your real estate career? So th that's a difficult one because I don't think I have any regrets. You know what I mean? Everything I've learned, I've, yeah. I've learned for a reason and I'm happy that I learned it um, early on. Uh, what I will say is that a lot of people think of, of the real estate industry as the type of career where you can just jump in and earn a million rand. And I mean, it's possible, it, it, it is possible, but it's, it's very improbable. Um, so, I, you know, you get told stories about, you know, it's, once you sell a property, it takes three months for it to register, save up about six months, all of that. And I was told this and I was prepared for it. Um, but in my mind, I was like, you know what, that's, that's not gonna be the case for me. I'm gonna walk in there, make a sale in my first week and get a rental the next day and I'll be sorted for life. You know what I mean? And I was warned about it before, but you just have that mentality. But the correct mentality is you're building a business and yeah. you need to get that in your head. Like no matter how good you are, this is a business. It's going to take some time, you know? So it's just the, the hit that I took. It took me six months to make my first sale, to put it in perspective, you know, mm -hmm. um, which is about on par. But for me, I was like, you know, that's, I can do better. You know what I mean? But I think you need to be very prepared going in. And I think I would have prepped myself a little bit more for that. It takes some time. It's a lot of hard work and it pays off in the end. Sure. No, it definitely does pay off. Thank you so much, Mike, for joining us tonight. Um, but before I let you go, one last word, one last word that you would give somebody who wants to become a real estate agent or even wants to maybe change careers and come into um, the property industry as a real estate agent, what would you say they need to do? So step one, um, find a fallback as in six months savings or if you can move back home, I was fortunate enough to do that. So just be prepared that it's going to take some time. Um, but this is another thing that I would highly recommend. Um, find somebody that's doing really, really well and reach out to them. I mean, our entire game is about lead generation, cold calling, emailing, getting your face in front of clients. Mm. Do that with an agent that you've seen is successful, is successful. And basically tell them you'll work for them for free. Do a little, get your foot in the door, learn from them, learn on the job. Uh, and I would say that's, that's step one is find somebody to mentor you. I think it's incredibly important. Thank you so much for taking our time out of your busy schedule to talk to us. We really, really appreciate it. And sharing those great property insights um, with our viewers at home. We wish you all the best and success. You know, uh, I told you earlier that pro, pro, Petropolis really sounds like Metropolis. So really, this was something that was aligned for you. Thank you so <laughs> much for joining us and have a good one. Thank you very much. Have a great evening. Now let's get to know more about the property powerhouse Remax. Here are the five fast facts. Number one, Remax is an American real estate agency founded in 1973 by Dave Linegar and Gail A. Linegar. Their headquarters are currently in Denver, Colorado. Number two, nobody sells more real estate in the world than Remax. The company has more than 140,000 agents with about 9,000 offices and a strong presence in more than 110 countries and territories around the world. Number three, 
the Remax hot air balloon fleet is the largest corporate balloon fleet in the world. Can you believe it? Number four, in 2021 and 2022, Remax in the Southern African region was awarded the prestigious title of the best uh, real estate brokerage in South Africa in the annual Luxury Life Lifestyle Awards. Number five, black excellence. Z Capital Properties are a well-known black empowerment company that has bought 45% ownership interest in Remax Southern Africa. And that's it for our five fast facts tonight. Hope you now know more, a little bit more about Remax Properties. Tonight, I told you that Nigel Aronso is going to be joining me later on. Nigel, are you there? Nigel is here. Thank you so much for joining us, Nigel, tonight. And we're looking forward Hi, to talking a little bit more about the First Time Home Buyers Masterclass. Yeah, so I'm to looking forward to it and thank you for having me. Thank you so much. To answer the burning question on everybody's mind, I, I will invite you to play a game with me that's called Why Should I Care? So you're going to answer the five questions that I'm going to ask you, short and sweet, as, as quick as possible. And for that, you will be able to, um, I'm going to let you announce the 500 Rand cash prize winner for tonight, as well as say goodbye to our guests. So are you ready? Absolutely. Number one, what is the first time home buyers masterclass? All right. So um, it's a masterclass that's going to be over a period of about three or four hours on the 25th of June, where uh, the EDPF uh, and private property have partnered to assist the man in the street to purchase their first property. So uh, let's not be sexist and uh, say the person on the street, anybody who wishes to purchase their first home, we will be running this masterclass to teach you exactly how to do so. It's an in-person course, uh, so you have to physically be there um, it is going to be hosted in Midrand, in, uh, in uh, the Priti Hotel. And uh, we'll uh, do things like we'll talk about the legal aspects of purchasing your first home, how to raise a bond, um, and a whole host of other things that we're going to talk about. Finding the right property, um, and uh, what if I've got a bad credit record? So those are the things we're going to be talking about. Sure. And jumping on to the second question, who is um, EDPF Property Academy and what exactly do they do? Well, that's a much longer uh, answer, but let me try and do it as quickly as sweet. I possibly can. <laughs> <laughs> so the EDPF Property Academy has been in existence now for almost six years. And our main focus is teaching people how to become property investors. So um, we will teach you all the aspects that you need to know of property management, facilities management, how to find the right property for investment, how to raise capital, um, how to structure your portfolio uh, legally as well as financially, how to um, use the best tax structures. So all of those kinds of things we teach in our academy and the course that we have is normally a three-year course. Uh, but it is purely geared towards teaching people how to use property as an investment tool. Sure. And quick question in terms of three things that I know that um, I will learn if I attend this masterclass. What are those three things, high level? All right. So number one, finding the right property for your uh, purposes. Mm -hmm. Number two, um, understanding the legal processes that go into buying your first home. And number three, which is probably the biggest one, is where to find the money and uh, what it means to buy a bond or, or to buy a property through a bond um, and how to raise a bond to purchase that first home. Great. Um, and how much is a ticket? How much gets uh, All right. So it's actually quite cheap. It's only 350 Rand for the morning. And that includes the venue costs, the coffee and snacks, and all the, the learnings that you're going to have, uh, as well as the connection with other people and, and some uh, networking that you will have with uh, something like 120 people that will be there on the morning. And where can I buy the tickets? So you'll have to go to the uh, education.privateproperty.coza um, website. Uh, you go to private property, there'll be a link. You'll click through and it'll take you to the education platform where you can then purchase 
your uh, ticket for 350 rand. Sounds like you are going to be seeing me on Saturday, Nigel. Thank you so much um, for joining us. And he, over to you to announce the winner of that 500 rand cash prize for tonight. All right, people. So tonight's winner of the 500 rand uh, cash prize uh, sponsored by Private Property is Nombuso Libre Mtetwa. So congratulations to you. Uh, we hope you enjoy the 500 rand that is on its way to you. Thank you so much for that, Nigel. And remember, a healthy dose of property information might just be what you need to get you back on your property A-game. This is the Private Property Podcast. My name is Dumi. Have a good night. Mm -hmm.